everybody, welcome back to Chillbox Only, CPO Wellness. My name is Ali, and today we are going to be talking about how to break up with somebody. So breakups are uncomfortable, they can be painful, they can be very, very hard, but they can also be an opportunity to grow and to evolve and to be really kind to someone because at the end of the day, a breakup is basically saying that, you know, you no longer see your lives intertwining anymore and going on the same path. And so you're choosing to set that person free so they can go find someone who better aligns with them. And I know that can be really hurtful and painful in the moment, especially if that person doesn't see it the same way. But really what you're doing and what's a really positive and kind thing to do is you're saying like, you deserve better than what I can offer you. Um, and I want you to have that. And you know, that can be a hard truth pill to swallow if the person doesn't believe that themselves, but over time they're going to realize that and come to it. And all you're doing is, you know, saving them the heartache and the pain of, you know, leading them on or stringing them along or just being with them because you don't want to hurt their feelings when you actually aren't capable and like loving and being with them in the way that they should be loved and be with. So I have gone through breakups, I've broken up with people, and I've also been broken up with. I've listened to a lot of experts on how to handle breakups. Um, I've gone through a lot of therapy around breakups, so I do have some tips and tricks about how you should break up with someone and just some general like guidelines and things that I think you should consider if you are going to break up with someone. So first things first, I don't want to label necessarily time frames because I think you know relationships can be very short but also very impactful and meaningful and then relationships can be really long that have really just run their course and probably both people know that it's over. So really think about like your situation, how close you are with this person, what your relationship is like, how intertwined you are, like do you live together, um, do you have pets together, do you have kids together, um, have you only been together for six months, uh, are you long distance, um, there's lots of things that can factor in to like how you would break up with someone. These are just general guidelines that I think everyone should consider. Um, and use when going through the process. So first things first is that when it comes to, you know, having that initial feeling of like, ooh, like, I don't know if I'm happy anymore. Like, I don't know if this is for me. Um, when you start to question and like second guess yourself, I always like to say that you should sit on that feeling for 24 hours, but speak on it within 48. And when I mean speak on it within 48, I don't mean break up with the person within 48, especially if this is like a more intimate long-term relationship. You know, if this is something where you've been seeing someone for three months, you can probably speak on it within 48. Um, but if it's a longer term relationship, maybe have a conversation with that person and say like, hey, like, how are you feeling about things? Like, how are things going? And if they're like, yo, everything's great. I'm loving this. Da, 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 um, you know, you can bring up some of your concerns. And I always just like to put those out there because then that other person doesn't feel blindsided. They kind of know where your head's at. And you can just say like, this is how I've been feeling. And I just wanted to like take some time to like think about this. Um, or this is like where my head's at. I'm not saying you need to break up with them in that moment. I just think it's nice to like give that person the grace of like seeing where your head's at and like understanding that, you know, things aren't really great for you, especially if things have been going well for them. If they're also like, you know what, I've also been feeling this. Um, you can have a conversation around that and maybe that leads to the breakup, maybe not, but at least it gives them a little bit of forewarning. The next thing I would say too is if you have someone who's like a trusted confidant of yours, so like your mom or your sister or a friend, um, somebody who's just kind of like in your bubble, not in their circle, that you can talk to privately and confidentially about it is another good thing. Um, you don't want to, you know, go talking to every single person in your friend group that may or may not also know your partner saying, I'm going to break up with so-and-so, I'm going to break up with so-and-so. Because it's not nice, right? Like that person should really be the first person to know. Obviously, um, that's not always applicable and I don't think they should always be the first person to know. I think that you should be able to talk to someone about it and, you know, say your concerns, get a second opinion, tell someone how you're feeling, see what they think about the situation. But just be respectful that like you don't want to be sharing all this information and then it gets back to your partner and they feel blindsided. Kindness is key here. Um, and so, you know, do what you need to do to talk to the people who can, you know, be your support system and give you good solid advice. 
uh, or at least listen to how you're feeling, but understand that the decision always has to come from within you, um, and it should always go to that person from within you, not anybody else. If you have, you know, kind of expressed your concerns, um, talk to a family member or friend, and you're still like, yeah, this isn't for me, and I'm not into this, definitely within the week, um, if not at that 48 hour point, you want to not lead someone on I don't think it's kind to even say like, I'm going to wait till after this wedding or I'm gonna wait till after this trip. Waiting doesn't make it better for anyone. Um, I think waiting honestly just brings resentment. Waiting, you know, allows that person to potentially have deeper feelings for you or get excited about certain things. I know for me personally, I remember I was broken up with once when I was in a long distance relationship and I was actually gonna go home to see the person in two weeks and they broke up with me two weeks prior and I was so upset and so hurt at the time because I thought to myself like, why wouldn't you have just waited till I got home? Like we could have had a better conversation, we could have talked face to face, I would have had my family and my support system. But in hindsight, as hard as it was to get the news then, I had enough time to process it. I wasn't spending the whole two weeks really excited to go see this person and then having that be like the pitfall when I got there. So even though it was painful and it was hard, I do think like if you can say it once you know it, it's better um, than like stringing someone along for a longer period of time. Uh, so then that comes up to like face-to-face -face phone call text. Um, I always say if you can get on the phone or if you can be face-to-face, -face, I think that's always best. I think, you know, letting someone see you and hear your voice and hear your tone and your facial expressions and just like sharing the general energy of like, I respect you enough that this was meaningful to both you and I and I'm going to give it the time and respect it deserves to put it to rest um, is really important. So if you can try to do it face to face or at least a phone call if it's like under a three month relationship, I think that's always super important. Even if it's hard or awkward or uncomfortable, it just shows the person that like you care enough to show up. And I think that is something that is admirable. When you are doing the breakup, some things to know is that you want to focus on like why you are making that decision for you, not putting words into the other person's mouth and saying, well, you know, this isn't working or this is this or this is that. Cause they might not share that truth, just staying very true to yourself. So like, I feel this way. I don't think we're the line anymore. I don't think we share the same values. I don't think this is gonna work out. I have different plans for my life. I respect you, I care about you, I want what's best for you, and I know I can't give you that, but someone else will, and like you deserve that. I think just being as clear and as kind as possible. Don't go down like long tangents. Try to keep it like concise and very clear and very kind, and avoid saying things to like pacify the other person because you feel awkward. Like just try to be as clear and concise and kind as possible. So, you know, I don't see this relationship going any further. I care about you and I respect you. And I believe that you deserve to be with someone who does see a relationship going forward with you. I just don't picture myself doing the next thing with you. I can't necessarily describe why that is. It's just a feeling in my gut, or I just feel like we have different you know, priorities or different beliefs or different ideas of what we want our future to look like. And I think we both deserve to be with people who better align with those things. And I'm really happy that I got to know you. And I'm, I know this is painful and I know this is hard, but I think this is what's best for us. And then just leave it at that. Um, you know, the person may have questions, you can try your best to answer them. But I think at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that like you don't want to be with this person anymore and the reasoning behind it doesn't really matter like, i think after people kind of get through it like get through the emotional part of it like you know grieve the loss of the relationship the reasoning why doesn't matter because that person is a whole person on their own and like they deserve to be chosen 100 percent, and you deserve to choose someone 100 percent. so if that's not happening like whatever the reason is it doesn't actually matter they're going to go out there and find someone who would choose them um and so breaking up with them is just doing the kind thing of allowing them to do that 
Uh, some rules for post breakup, I recommend um, not speaking to them for at least three months to maybe six months, um, setting really clear boundaries on that. I think what happens when we break up with someone is they're so used to us being their support person um, and vice versa as well that it's really easy to fall back into those habits of like wanting to reach out and talk. Um, so, you know, saying like, hey, I think it's best that we take some space from each other for like the next three months and don't have contact with one another so we can move on and move through this. I know you're really close with so-and-so person, like maybe you should rely on that person for support for yourself. Just be really kind. You reaching out to that person is for anything after this um, is not kind at all. It just is going to kind of reinforce that bond, just what you're trying to release. And so keeping your distance and allowing that person the space to grieve and move on is what is kind and best for them. And so just don't do it. Don't reach out. If you said you're not going to reach out, it's not worth it. Obviously, there are exceptions to the rule. If something really traumatic happens in that person's life or some like a death happens or something like that, of course, you can reach out. But for general things or especially to validate your own self, do not reach out. Um, just give them the space to grieve and move on and move past it. It's the kindest thing that you can do. Trust me. And yeah, those are pretty much all my tips for going through breakups. They're not easy, um, especially too, I think there's a lot of like guilt around being the person who breaks up with someone because nobody wants to hurt people that they care about. You're doing this because it's what's best for the both of you. And being in a relationship with someone when you're not fully in it is not fair and not nice. And so breakups are a part of life and you know, falling in love is wonderful. Falling out of love it sucks, but it can also be wonderful because it allows that person to go find someone who's better aligned with them. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it because that really helps our channel. If you have any questions, you can follow us at CPO Wellness on Instagram or leave a comment down below. I try to answer all my DMs on Instagram um, and reply to as many comments as I can. Uh, if you think this little video will be helpful for someone else, please share it with them as that really helps our channel. And we will see you for another video soon.